Hey guys, welcome to the video number 417. My name is Ajay and in this video today we are going to talk about how to send the Outlook emails uh, when you are basically recipient name, you know, the name which you have defined you know, in your Excel. Uh, in the form of drop down or maybe in column it gets changed right so automatically the email should trigger and your you know email will go from your outlook so everything has to be done in excel but if the changes happen in excel then the email should go now this basically uh, i'm going to record this video uh, as usual you know i i received an email from mr guler um, i think he written actually emailed this uh, you know on the 2nd of june and as i said that guys i was actually not uploading any videos from the last two weeks and this happened for the first time that I took such a long break. So uh, it's just that my basically the laptop wasn't working and I was also busy in some other, you know, uh, the external project. So I couldn't get the time, but I'm back now and I'm going to answer your all queries one by one. So uh, Mr. Gulu, thank you so much, first of all, writing, but I would really appreciate if you can uh, also share these, you know, uh, questions uh, directly on my YouTube channel. Just post your comments there so that everybody can see that, right? So what actually he has said, is uh, hello how can we automatically send an email when the name of the employee in Excel changes right now I really didn't get much of the detail I mean you didn't even share any snapshot or kind of you know sort of stuff that how basically your Excel looks like so I'm going to assume that somewhere here maybe you know you're trying to uh, create a drop down let's say where you have all the name of you know so so for example if I just guys uh, create here uh, let's say this email ID uh, or maybe a name let's say that's my name Ajay Parmar and let's say there is uh, one more name we can add uh, let's say Cheryl Cheryl S and then let's say Robin Robin K and then there's um, let's say Venkat Venkat Prasad and then let's say Mabu Alam so let's say these are the names now what we are going to do is I'm going to simply go ahead and create the drop down here so I go to the data and in the data validation guys I just uh, you know create this so I'm trying to uh, you know record this video from the very scratch so that you should also have your idea that how to how you can actually create this kind of a you know summary report dashboard sort of that so now you have all the names coming here right so what you can do is maybe you can go in the insert and you can um, uh, put some kind of an arrow here you can create some arrow for example uh, maybe sort of um, uh, yeah that's that that's the kind of a let's say arrow you can create here right and then further you can just uh, go in the home tab and you can just put this in the middle and in the center and I can change the font of it I can make this Arial black and you can go in the view and remove the grid line so once you have that it, maybe if you want to just uh, give it a some color sort of this color you can do that right so that's how it is and uh, so this is how basically uh, the user uh, you know is going to work uh, he's going to change these names the moment the name gets changed you want that the email should go and the message box should come right now guys uh, further uh, to this you you can you know write here that uh, who should be kept in the two and then you know cc and then in the bcc and the subject also you can write here uh, you can also create the body and the attachment so whatever you want to i mean do you can do that so i simply go and i say that if if it, if it is going to be let's say you know uh, this, this person robin k then the email should go to the robin k or maybe if you have any generic id you can do that as well for example you can write here that team uh, team at the rate uh, maybe let's say uh, outlook.com this is the uh, the team outlook and in the cc uh, you would like to keep yourself right so what you can do is um, you can further go and uh, you, you can create their email ids for these people you know suppose you can create their email ids here so let's say this is uh, ap at the rate uh, outlook.com and uh, further then you can write here share for share you can write here share at the rate outlook.com and for the robin it's robin at the rate outlook com and then for vp it's vp at the rate outlook.com and for this image at abyahoo.com whatever right so what you can do is you can simply go and put the vlookup here so that whatever the name the user is going to select you know it should come from this table so i'm just going to select this table and second and zero right that's all and then guys you can actually you know go ahead and hide that or maybe you can give it a white font so that user should not be able to see anything here right so that's how the email would come and uh, let me 
close this i don't know how it got opened anyways so that's how your uh, this is how the table looks like and i'm just going to actually zoom in a little yeah that's how it is and then what is the next thing you want to do well in the bcc of course you can write whatever you want so i just uh, write uh, the team let's say at outlook or maybe something else let's say team for 12 at the rate outlook.com right so i'm trying to actually just um, you know put the, all the things in proper order so that once we make the code we should pick up you know everything so subject has to be whatever the user subject uh, you know uh, he's going to write here she's going to write here so that daily dashboard let's say daily dashboard and you can combine that with the date as well so you can write here today date whatever the date you have and just guys write equals to here and put it within the codes so daily dashboard you know and you can you will have the date here right now the date is not coming here obviously because date this is four to eight nine which is coming in the number so you can write you can add this with the text format and you can write here let's say mm uh, dd and then mmm right that's it guys okay so that's how it is and you can create the space here as well like this okay so that's it daily dashboard 13th june and the body whatever you want to write so i let's say i write hi uh, um, you can write here hi and then this is this is this is for your information let's say that's it and in the attachment uh, you can add whatever attachment you want so suppose i'm just gonna pick up maybe this text file let's say i go to the properties of this and you just need to go to the security and pick up this complete path right so we're going to put that in your excel sheet guys over here there we go right now i think we have got all the information with us and that's how it's gonna look like and user so what the user is going to do user is always going to actually see this information and edit this information anytime you know if uh, the user wants to edit this information as simple as that right so that's how it is and if i just go and change any name for example i change this to ajay parmar you see that the email is going to change and similarly guys you can change the entire stuff as well it's not just that uh, you know this uh, particularly cc part you need to change you what you can do is uh, you can further go ahead and create more columns so if i just make this black you know what you can do is after this email you know if if they have their own specific managers then you can write that in the c column as well right so you can write here for example for, in for the case of the ajay it has to uh, be a different team for example it has to be team one at outlook.com right and similarly the subject has to be different so i mean you can write all these things yourself right so if i just go and let's say i copy this copy this copy this copy this and if i just go let's say this is the team 11 and this is going to be my let's say team 91 and this is going to be my team underscore s one and this is going to be team one for example that's how it is right so you can further go ahead and use this vlookup so you can again use the vlookup you can pick up this item from the drop down the user is going to choose and then you can just you know use the third column so this will also change automatically and then of course as usual you can hide these columns right so now when the user is going to pick up any name from here this will also change and this will also change and similarly the body attachment you know whatever you want to do you can do that right i will not get into that because this video is more on the outlook part so now what is the uh, how are we going to do this so basically here we have the two challenges one is how to send the email by the way if you're watching this i mean if you if you haven't uh, seen my the rest of the videos then what you can do is you can simply go to the channel and you can watch all those amazing 400 and you know 15 16 videos under these all the 45 categories the playlist right now this is not a new thing which i'm doing right if if you're following the channel then you know what i'm saying guys we have already i think uploaded uh, 35 36 videos on uh, you know this outlook part so i just show you the uh, in this uh, my on this uh, the playlist on the front page there is a playlist called excel uh, vba connecting outlook with excel let me show you that um, it must be somewhere here um, okay it's i can't see that uh, condition formatting default so basically these are all the playlists which i have created and you just need to go there and you know you need to you can see those uh, the particular videos if you're interested in watching index which is a very powerful function and very much used in summary reports dashboards you can go and check out these four videos right now guys this is what i was talking about so in the excel we are connecting outlook we already have 34 amazing videos on this every video is unique every video is different right so 
we know that how to make send the email but still if we do not know i will talk about that but the important point is how you're going to ensure that every time when the change happens here the email should automatically you know trigger so what you need to do is you need to go to the visual basic and this is my sheet 3 so i just go and i click on the sheet 3 and because here we are going to write an event right now what are the events now events events are actually self triggered macros whenever the condition satisfies they run themselves they don't wait for your button they don't wait wait for your instructions right now on this events also i have actually a, a lot of videos starting from the scratch so what you need to do is you need to find it out here a playlist called excel vba event right so if i just scroll it down and if i can find it out for you uh, there we go so excel vb events when you click there you will see eight videos if you are a beginner don't watch the videos randomly what you need to do is just go by the title and then there, is, there are some titles which says that the basics of the event right so go and first watch that right so events are nothing they are self-triggered macros so we're going to say that anytime the change happens in this e1 cell okay if the if the cell address is e1 e1 and the change is happening just run the macro so what you will do is you will go in the visual basic you double click on the sheet 3 because i am on the sheet 3 as you can see and from here just choose that worksheet and a lot of events would come here if you just click here so you have a selection change you have a table update remote pivot table update i never use that right so there are technically a lot of lot of things here so what you need to do is you need to basically use a sheet change even this one change use this and i just go and delete this one this is not required so what do, what do you mean by the change so change means that anytime the value changes in excel in this particular sheet 3 because i'm writing this code in sheet 3 so this is not going to work in any any other sheet guys right and within this sheet also we have a condition and the condition is that the change should happen in even cell only it should not happen anywhere so what you're going to do is you're simply going to say that if the target address if my target address is going to be equals to uh, your cell which is e1 so that's how you write e dollar one and just prefix the dollar here as well if that is the cell address then what you need to do is then just call the you know macro which is which we are going to create so put it within the double quotes and just call the macro called send email that's it else else you don't have to do anything else else just go in the end if and stop the macro okay so now i go and you know insert the module and here i'm going to create a macro called send email that's why you're going to create the macro so here because we are going to work with the outlook part we are going to connect this excel with the outlook you just go to the tools and the reference and please ensure that you should actually have the microsoft outlook library on so just scroll it down and these are all alphabetically sorted libraries so i'm just gonna see that where is the o so there we go microsoft outlook yeah so somewhere here it has to be there so i'm using the 16 2016 so you see 16.0 make sure you come back and see that once you check mark that it should be there right so this is there it's coming perfect so library is on and i'm going to make the code so this is how guys we're going to make the code dim o as outlook dot application set o equals to new outlook dot application now this line what it does it creates the object in the vb memory which is going to be now considered as outlook and so so that you can use the outlook classes and further in the outlook classes if you want to use their classes methods or properties you can use that right so because we want to send the email so i'm going to create one more variable omail as outlook dot mail item and then set omail equals to this o dot now you do, do you see that o is created as an outlook object it's not a you know um, any any other normal variable it's a proper object right you can even write anything here it's not mandatory to write o right if you have watched my previous 30 30 30 34 videos you know what i'm talking about right so this is just the object which we created and now i'm going to actually create the item the you know we're going to use the mail item class now what is a mail item class so guys whenever you deal with the emails you use this class 
like in excel uh, vba when we talk about the excel vba uh, we have a excel objects like we have a excel application and then in that application we have workbook objects and then worksheet objects and then in the worksheet we have the cell which is again as an object you know so similarly guys when we talk about the outlook vba they also have their own object hierarchy right and they have they they also have their own classes if you want to work with the folders the, they have given you a, a class called namespace there is a another class called folder outlook dot folder if you want to work with the attachments they have given you outlook dot attachment class right similarly when you want to send the emails or when you want to actually you know maybe you want to transfer the emails from one folder to the another folder so in that case also because you are dealing with the emails you have to use this ol mail item class right so we have created this now what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to say that with omail that's how i'm going to write end with and we are going to send the email right so how we going to send the email obviously in the two i will write uh, the cells so the cell uh, in the two i'm going to write it's on the e3 so i'm so maybe you can write simply here range e3 dot value right and then similarly for uh, cc you can write range you can write e4 dot value and then dot bcc you can write range e5 dot value and then you can write dot subject what is my subject subject is whatever we have here in the e6 and you know that these cells which i'm referring right now you can use the vlookup in every cell and they're going to change right so they will automatically change once the change happens in the drop down so that's how it is so let me just quickly finish this off and there we go so the last thing which i want to do is the attachment you want to add the attachment this is how you write what is the attachment so you need to provide the path and path is already there in your range e8 that's how it is right dot value and then you're going to write here display let's say i just write the display word here there we go so now let us go ahead and let us see if we are uh, able to do that i'm just going to put the break code here remember this worksheet change will work whenever the target address is going to be e1 otherwise suppose if i come here and i say that uh, i do some change right now this cell is empty i write here seven i press enter look at this guys the automatically the macro is running it's not waiting for your button right nowhere i clicked on the button i just entered some value and automatically the macro is running now because i put this break code that's why you see this yellow mark because this is a step by step you know we're going to run it but if i just remove it you will not be able to even know that there is some macro which is running right now you know that this is not the target address because the target address is e12 we did the change in the e12 right so obviously this is going to be in the go in the else if and sub finish there's nothing which will happen right but if i do the change here for example i'm just going to make this to robin k now look at this everything changed in the two you have now team 91 at outlook and the cc you have robin at outlook and rest of the things also i mean you can change subject body as i was telling you but the important point is now what is the target address so target address actually is e1 because you did the change in the e1 so this condition satisfies and automatically now it will go in the then and send email now from here guys the email is going to be forwarded look at this now i'm going to press f8 again it takes a little time because the object is you know being created and there we go there we go finally you have the display you can use a dot send as well if you just want to send the email directly then you will not be able to see this display which i'm which is which is you know right now coming so let me just maximize this look at this guys this is how it is you got the you know all the two ccbcc subject and in the attachment the file and then of course hi this is for your information that's it guys so if i just remove that break code from here now see what's going to happen i just remove this so the user is going to actually change this to ajay parmar for example like this look at this and now the email should have gone by now i think so oh yeah there we go right so you can see that the email is drafted right if you just go and use the dot send method email would go directly so you can use this you can instead of this dot display you can use the dot send as well and then of course you can write the message box sent you know so that the user should be able to know that it's actually sent so if i just go and click on the robin k you see that the mail is going to be drafted it's it's going to be sent in fact 
you will not be able to see anything there we go sent now if i go and open my outlook and if i go in my sent folder i will be able to see that email right so that's it guys this is how you know you can create all that stuff let me just uh, unhide these things so that you can if you're just a beginner in excel or in vba maybe you require this kind of a you know these columns i mean you should maybe needing it so i'm just writing it so this is how you know i automated everything with this drop down and then in the visual basic code of course this is the code you can pause the video you can see this code this is a very simple code the important point was in the sheet three basically these are the three or four lines worksheet change even that's what we created right so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this and um, keep commenting on the channel and keep liking the videos and do subscribe to the channel to support me in the next video we are going to talk something more exciting thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your lovely support i'll see you soon thank you bye bye